So I started dancing when I was in ninth grade at my high school. I'd never taken any special classes for dance or anything before. And really the only reason I signed up for dance was because I didn't want to do PE. And so I was like, hey, dance sounds like it might be fun. So I tried it, but I didn't know how important it was going to be to me. I guess what I loved most about it is because when I dance, I feel like I can become a different person. I don't even know how to explain it, but I really loved it. I did pretty good in the beginning class and I was moved up to intermediate for my sophomore year. The intermediate class basically prepares you for the dance team. Making the dance team was like my number one goal as a sophomore. The dance team performs in assemblies. They do a lot of performances in shows and stuff in school. This was something that I really, really wanted. Making the team wasn't easy. It was easier for those who had experience in dance before high school, but for someone like me who had no experience, it was something that I had to work for. When dance team auditions came around, I was nervous. I knew that there were people that were better than me. I knew that I could be better. We got the results of the audition and I didn't make the team. My first thought was to be self-righteous and to be like, well, why did she make the team and I didn't? I can do things that she can't do. But I knew that those were things that I didn't need to worry about because the real truth of the matter was that I didn't make the team and me criticizing them in my mind wasn't gonna do anything about that. I had these people who were encouraging me saying, hey, you have one more year. You can do intermediate again and try harder and get to advance the next year. At first, I didn't want to do it because I felt like I was just going to fall flat on my face again and that nothing was going to change. But I decided against that and I did intermediate again the next year. I went to a dance camp over the summer. I practiced after school. Every second that I got during class, I made sure I practiced. I took my teacher's criticisms into like consideration and made sure that I took the corrections that she gave me. I was doing what I needed to do to get what I wanted. Auditions came around for the dance team the next year and I made the dance team. This is honestly something I think shaped who I am. Not all talents that you have are like natural born talents. Some talents are things that you earn or gain because of experience and practice. It's an experience that I draw off of from like different situations in my life. I look at this experience and I say, remember that time you did that thing that you thought was impossible? It's just something that I always look back at because it makes me realize that I can basically do anything. I just have to not give up no matter how embarrassed I am because I failed the first time or because of my own insecurities or whatever. I'm just glad that I never gave up on the dance team because if I did, I wouldn't have all these friends that I made from the dance team and I wouldn't be having as much fun as I'm having this year. And I wouldn't have had this lesson that I can look back on and relate to other situations in my life that are similar and I just yeah. I just want to say thank you to Olin Rogers for doing this scholarship. Good luck to everyone else who is applying for the scholarship. And if you're a normal subscriber of mine, definitely go check out Olin Rogers' channel if you haven't already. Peace in the Middle East, eat your vegetables, and have a nice day.